those we should expect. Uh, some of you know we use computer adaptive testing, we call it CAT. Is that still in the mix? Et cetera, right? And these are the questions I've been asked for years, and luckily it was really in the last 12 months um, that we finally analyzed enough data to be able to decide on the answers to all these questions. So good news for you is I'm gonna answer pretty much everything here. However, the big question is one you don't see here. This is really the big question everybody wanted to know, and I bet even for all of you, you wanna know. Here it is. Okay, come on. How different is the NGN from the NCLEX? You've certainly seen some things that are different. The question is, is that the whole exam? The whole exam is case studies, bow ties, standalone? Oh my God, this is gonna be a crazy test, right? Or is it mostly the old exam, uh, but with a few things we added a little bit? Well, let's see. So I will encourage you to picture today's NCLEX as a cheese pizza. <laughs> so we, we know it's not really a cheese pizza. If it were, uh, your students would like it better and they would finish faster. Okay, but point is, it's a cheese pizza. Now, next generation NCLEX, is it a hamburger? Is it spaghetti? Is it a Caesar salad? Or is it this? Here it is. The next generation NCLEX is that cheese pizza with some toppings. Here's what I want you to know. The overwhelming majority of questions your graduates will see are exactly like what they would see on the NCLEX today. Okay? The vast majority of the test is staying the same, right? Just like this pizza on the right, you can call it a pepperoni pizza. I'm going to call it a cheese pizza, but with a few pepperoni on it, right? That's the NGN. So uh, let's now quantify some of this. Okay, we call this the approved test design. The most recent NGN newsletter is all about the test design. It is our most dense uh, but informative newsletter. It goes into great detail, which I am just summarizing here. Uh, so time staying the same. Let me emphasize, by the way, some of you have RN students, some of you have PN students. Everything you're seeing right now applies to RN and PN. No difference. I'm not going to show you a second chart. Okay, so time stays the same. Delivery, we're still using computer adaptive testing. The, we say variable length because you probably know some of your graduates get a really short exam. They say, oh gosh, this is scary. I finished after 75 questions. Does that mean I failed? Well, you, you know, actually it doesn't, but okay. And some of them are like, oh God, I hated the exam. I got 145 questions. I must've done really horrible. Well, no, not necessarily. It doesn't mean that, right? But it does have to do with how long it took the computer to figure out whether you passed or failed. But point is variable length cap. Uh, different test takers can get different numbers of items, but of course there's a range, 75 to 145 today. How about the NGN? A little more, right? We care mostly about the top end because that's where you start to worry about running out of time. On the top end, it goes up uh, literally like, you know, two-ish percent, 145 to 150. So not a big change there. Um, you may know today on the NCLEX, some of the items do not count. Some of the items do not contribute toward the pass-fail result, and we call these pretest items. We use them simply to collect data so we can decide if an item we just came up with, right, and put through our review committees uh, will be good to use in the future, right? Uh, we need data to make these decisions. Everything we do on the exam is based on data. Yes, I know that well. Okay, so... Uh, what that means is take away these 15 that don't count, and we get the number of scored items, the number of items that count. Well, the, the candidates can't tell the difference, but the point is 15 don't count. Here comes my math degree being put to work. Uh, I will now subtract 15 from the total items, and we see today's NCLEX 60 to 130 of the items count, NGN 70 to 135. So again, a little more, but not much. Now let's break down those numbers. Case studies, how many will there be? Three that count. Three that count. I am giving it to you. True for all candidates. All candidates will get three case studies that count. Take it to Vegas. Uh, okay. And each case study had six items, again, showing off the math. Uh, so that means 18 items are coming from case studies. Here comes some subtraction then. All right. Uh, on the NGN, what's left? Well, if we take away the 18 
that are in case studies, we're left with somewhere between 52 and 117. I wish the numbers were a little more round or something, but you get the idea. It is what it is. Uh, take away the three case studies. Now, a difference between today's NCLEX and the NGN is the composition of those items. Today's NCLEX, you know what they are. Multiple choice, select all that apply, exhibit item, the usual suspects. NGN, well, you saw bow tie, you saw trend, but I also told you a whole bunch of these. Most of these are just normal NCLEX items that you know and maybe love today, but certainly no. Um, ballpark, I think what you'll read in the NGN newsletter is that roughly 10% of this number are kind of like that bow tie trend, you know, NGN special type stuff, uh, whereas about 90-ish percent of the number uh, is going to be more like uh, today's NCLEX. So there you go. Uh, we mentioned the 15 that don't count, but I want to say a special word about those. Today, the 15 items that don't count look just like the rest of the test. Makes sense. Well, for NGN, there's a twist, right? For NGN, they're going to look just like the rest of NGN. What does that mean? It means in the 15 items that don't count, there could be a trend item. There could be a couple bow tie items, maybe, right? There could even be a case study. And if you really think about it, there could even be two case studies in 15 items, right? Because it's six, six items per. Wow, okay. So you may have a graduate come back and say, hey, you told me three case studies, I got four, <laughs> right? We know stu students, graduates love, love to, you know, point these things out. Um, and so their test wasn't broken, right? The point is, if somebody did come back and say, I got four case studies, you know, three of them counted, one of them didn't. Could they tell them apart? Well, I hope not, but probably not, right? Okay, anyways, that is the test design. 